fast spring into action. When a referee at a game in Risco, Missouri collapsed last night, a fifth grader rushed to save his life. Good evening. The principal says without a defibrillator nearby, that ref could have died. Sheree Hennicutt's live in the studio with the story tonight. Jeff and Kathy, that ref is recovering tonight and is thankful for the team of people who came together to get him the help he needed. Anytime you're in a crisis like that, you know, seconds, seconds matter. Principal and coach Brandon Blankenship with Risco School says his son CJ didn't hesitate. In between basketball games, Donnie Jenkins, one of their referees, collapsed. Donnie's talking to CJ and then he, he collapses there kind of onto the desk and then he rolled kind of slid off of that into the floor. I crawled underneath the desk and then I went and got my grandpa. That triggered a group rushing to Jenkins aid. They got the AED the, um, out that we have here in the gym and uh, they, they had to shock him twice and, and uh, and finally got a pulse. I mean, he, he went several minutes without a pulse. The school got the automated external defibrillator with grant money, which now makes the cost seem small. If we would have not have had the AED here at the gym and had it, and had it so readily available, um, I, I don't know that he would have made it. While CJ's dad says he's a hero and the machine played a big part. I really think the AED saved his life. Blankenship says it was the Risco community that saved Jenkins' life. I had to make a list here to get them all. Three nurses, paramedics, members of the community, and one boy who sprang into action. I'm so proud of our community. Nobody hesitated to, uh, to jump in there and, and help out. Blankenship says that's the Risco spirit and looks forward to having Jenkins back on the court. But we're praying for him. We hope he's on the road to recovery. I hope that you are getting better and I hope that you are feeling better and I hope that you can. Coach Blankenship says he spoke with Jenkins this morning and told him he was proud to talk to him. Jenkins told him he's proud to be here. Live local now, Sheree Honeycutt, Heartland News.